and welcome back to my channel Inspiring Life Design. Today I'm here again with Claire Burley. Welcome back Claire. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice so to see you. I chatted to Claire uh, on a couple of videos ago so if you want to check out that video where we talk a lot about Tony Robbins and his events and our experiences of those then go and have a look in my channel. Uh, but what we didn't get to talk about on that video was the Knowledge Broker Blueprint, which Claire did and I did last year. And so I thought it'd be fun for us to film another video just to have a chat about that and uh, let everyone know what our experiences are of the Knowledge Broker Blueprint. So Claire, can you tell us a bit about where you were last year? Probably would have been about April time, I think in the months leading up to the KBB launch? Sure. So um, just before the KBB launch, I just, I think it was just after I'd, I'd been crewing, um, which we talked about in the last video. So I'd just been crewing at Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within. And a lot of the crew family at UPW are coaches and have their own businesses and, and self-development businesses. And so I've, I've kind of heard lots of different people talking about how they were doing things. And at the same time, I was at the time um, in an NHS job as a psychologist working a nine to five and had a small private practice alongside. And I was listening to everybody talking about how they were doing their coaching businesses and just getting really curious about how, how the coaching industry works differently to the therapy industry mm. and how I could potentially scale up uh, my private practice at that time but being a bit more creative about it and not just doing it kind of in the traditional way. So I was kind of curious at that point about different ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the sort of place I was at when I started to hear about the KBB. Yeah. Yeah. So you were sort of sussing out ideas for possible sort of business opportunities that you could, you, you felt that you could do. So yeah. what then, so as it came along, and obviously there was a bit of a buzz around it at the time, what prompted you to invest in the Knowledge Broker Blueprint program for yourself? So as probably many people would say, there was, there was some credibility really in terms of that being linked to Tony Robbins. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's probably not the right thing to say, but I didn't really know who Dean Grattusi was at the time. I just saw that there was a collaboration with Dean and Tony and Russell. I didn't know Russell either. Um, and I just thought, wow, this is something that Tony's putting together. And I watched their uh, launch um, information where they were explaining what the KBB was. And I just thought, you know, these are the people who are at the top of their game. You know, mm -hmm. these are experts in their field and they are killing it with what they're doing in terms of their businesses. So that made me sort of take notice and think, you know, maybe these are people that I can really learn from and really listen to in terms of how um, I should be doing things. And the more I saw Dean, um, you know, the more I thought he's passionate, you know, he's mm -hmm. so passionate about what he's saying and, and, and what he's talking about and he seemed to really care. And so that really kind of pulled me in to think about, you know, what's this KBB all about? And, you know, is this the sort of thing I want to be um, a part of? Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. I mean, like you, I hadn't really heard of Dean before the Knowledge Broker came, uh, Blueprint came along last year. And he's just, I found him so full of heart and so authentic. Yeah, and I think really so. you don't get to see that so often, um, you know, in the online world. So it's definitely um, appealing and it kind of, draws you in doesn't it yeah definitely so um moving on to talk a little bit about uh, the knowledge broker blueprint one of the things about it when you buy it is that you get access for life which i think is yes. really cool it's not like a subscription based model which i'm not very keen on myself you buy it and, and you own it sort of thing and mm. it also means that you can do it at your own pace which i think is quite nice you can do it as fast or as slow as you want yeah so, what so far with your experience with it what have you enjoyed or found the most value from uh with mm. the course uh and with yeah well essentially with yeah. the course i guess and if you've had yeah. any experience with the software yeah so um one of the things i noticed straight away because you, you sort of watch the launch videos and you sort of take on board but you don't really know what you're getting <laughs> you know a bit but you don't really know until you open it what's this actually going to be like yeah. and one of the things that I noticed straight away was that it wasn't only aimed at one area so 
some people know what they want to do and they just need to know how to do it. Some people don't know what they want to do and so they're doing a course to find that out. And some people know all of that, but they don't know kind of the, the kind of tech part, the marketing part, the sales part. This course covers all of it. Mm. So it really helps you to figure out what is it that you want to do in the knowledge business. Yeah. How do you want to do that? What kind of business do you want? And then how do you go about actually marketing it, selling it, the tech side of some of it? And it's, it's the whole thing. And it takes you through step by step. So that was the first thing I noticed right off the bat. The second thing I noticed was how clear and easy to use it was. Mm. The, the way they've put it together is just incredible. It makes so much sense in terms of going from lesson to lesson and knowing where you are in the overall program, knowing how to find things like bonuses. It's just mm. so user friendly. And the videos are short, so if you only have half an hour 20 minutes or even 15 minutes you know you can just watch a quick video and um you know you can do it it, it, like you said at your own pace but you can also just dip in and out of it it doesn't take you two hours to watch a video so i really like that and you know just as i was saying a, a minute ago about about dean to begin with, I was a bit surprised that Tony wasn't doing more of the videos. <laughs> so I started to think, oh, you know, is this really, you know, is Tony kind of going to do very many? And what happened was I absolutely fell in love with Dean. I just think he's incredible. And the way that he delivers the lessons, it's not like you're thinking, oh, I've got to sit down and learn about this thing now. <laughs> it was just, it was really enjoyable to hear him talk. The way he explained things makes so much sense. He has so much passion, it's, it's really motivating. And so I really, really appreciated that because it kind of keeps you going. You know, the structure and his passion, th those two things kind of kept me going um, and kept me on track. So I, I really liked that. Um, the other thing that really stood out was the amount of value. So not just all of those things I've just talked about in terms of how, you know, what to do, how to do it, and then how to sell it but also all the extras, all the bonuses, like what's incredible with Tony, um, without even telling anyone, so this wasn't a sales technique, but after everyone had already bought the course, he said, you know what, I want you guys to have the best value, I don't want you guys to get stuck on anything, so I'm just gonna throw in my program, Ultimate Edge. And I then know. we're all like, what? <laughs> it's normally <laughs> like two, 200 to $250 worth of value, I think, that you have to yeah. pay for that. And he didn't even really make a fuss about it. He just said, I want you guys to, you know, nail this. I want you to, you know, overcome any barriers that you might be having with progressing with your businesses. So have my program because I think it will really help you out. Yeah. There's things like that, that you, you feel like, you know, they really are supporting you in trying yeah. to kind of help you out as best as possible to have great outcomes mm. um and that meant a lot it, it felt like you know then you've not just been sold to and then they've run away with your money and you know it, it really felt like there was a lot of support there so i really valued that as well yeah amazing and just to uh pick up on a couple of things that you touched on there um with regards to the uh tony videos in the course I know that in this new launch, uh, Tony's recorded a whole host of other videos that are going to be in there. So you can look out for those. That'll be <laughs> exciting to watch this. And Dean's recorded more as well. Um, what was the other thing I was going to So make? the bonuses. Do you want me to say a little bit about the bonuses? I'll come on to those in a, in a moment. Yeah, I was just okay. going to come back. So you'd said about the ultimate edge. It's gone. It will come back to me later. Okay. <laughs> There's a couple of things I was going to say, but that's great. So, yeah, so with regards to the bonuses, obviously there were a lot of um, great bonuses um, for the first launch. Um, I'll just touch on a couple of them, run through them briefly, and then we can dive into uh, what you thought of them. So um, one of the big ones was uh, the fact that there's a private Facebook group, uh, which is vibrant, actually. There's a lot of people in there and um so they're all very supportive of each other there's a lot of interaction and what's wonderful is dean goes live in there once a week so it's it's like you say they don't just sort of sell you the course and you're on your own it really is a case of driving you forwards and motivating you because they really want you to finish the course and create your own uh, knowledge business and, and get value there was also um, software that you could use um, to actually set up uh, your kind of business and 
put it out there online so people can uh, come and sign up for it. There's, there was a Dean's Inner Circle membership. So there's all sorts of different things. So in terms of the bonuses then, have you been able to take advantage of any of them? Of those or other yeah. ones, I haven't even mentioned them all. <laughs> um, I think for me, the biggest, um, the, the bonus that had the biggest impact was the actual Facebook group. Um, and I think it's sort of evolved over time. So when I first, mm -hmm. you know, you get told there's a Facebook group, you go and take on, everyone is at the same starting point. We're all, we all started right at the beginning, from out, out, right off the launch, day one. Yeah. And I thought, this is great, you know, we can all learn from each other and we can all check in with how we're going, we can all support each other, which felt fantastic. And then over a bit, not actually that long, but over a bit of a period of time, what started to happen was that people very quickly became, uh, um, it was more obvious that we're all at different stages. Mm -hmm. Some people did it in a weekend, other people <laughs> yeah. did an hour a week. It, it, everyone went at completely different paces. And to begin with, I thought, oh, you know, we've lost we've lost that sense of us doing it together. We're not all asking the same questions now, we're asking different questions. And to begin with, I thought that might be a problem, but actually what, what very quickly became evident was that it was really helpful to have people at different stages because the people who were further ahead were able to reflect back and help people mm. to say, no, I was there before, I know, you know, just get to this next, next module or, you know, what are you stuck on? Maybe I can help you to really bring them along and then also there were people that they were behind you so you could help those people and so actually it just became really supportive and so even though it evolved um, for me that was a really great resource because it was in real time and you could you could ask questions in it if you get stuck you can actually post a question or ask somebody for some feedback on something yeah. very interactive very supportive and I just thought that was an absolutely fantastic thing to have running alongside the actual course which you know, whilst you're watching a video, it's not live, it's, you know, pre-recorded videos. Whereas in the Facebook group, in real time, you can ask questions mm -hmm. and people were right on there to, to help support you. Absolutely. So I really like that. And I've seen people in there do polls as well for things yeah. like, oh, I'd like to test out my logo or my, mm. my sort of sales page. Can you tell me which of these you prefer? And so it's also really good as like a sounding ground as you're building... Yeah building your thing up and the other thing i really like is that dean's team are in there and they will always comment as well and give you advice and dean even goes in from time to time and comments and he reads a lot of the comments and does. so it's kind of quite nice knowing that you're in that sort of intimate yeah. sort of environment and to have really. dean actually reply is amazing which he's done hasn't he to, to uh, was it aggie I think yeah we know yeah and just to see his reply it's like actually he, he is actually in there he oh yeah is and he's in. genuinely interested and when he does his weekly lives he will go through and there's normally a handful of people maybe about five or six people every week that he'll shout out and say this is what they've been doing this week we've seen it in the facebook group isn't this amazing yeah, so, yeah it's a really That's nice brilliant. community yeah so, uh, yeah, and I remember what I was going to say before, so I'll just throw it in there, which was when you mentioned about the fact that the videos are, you know, they're varying lengths, but a lot of them are, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even yeah. a little bit less. I've actually started redoing the course this year. Oh, have you? But the way I've been doing it is I do it when I, I'm having my lunch. <laughs> so I just oh, get my lunch, and I can't really work while I'm doing my lunch. So I just put my headphones on, pop on the next lesson, and watch it so there's so many different ways that you can work through the course whether it's like yes. having it all into one weekend and just getting it all done yeah. and, um, doing That's it like, great. In May like that you've just reminded me of one of the things that you suggested to me was to <laughs> download the audio oh yeah so yeah I listen to it in my car well, that's the other thing that's great. So with, with each of the, the uh, video modules, they give you the audio that you can download. They give you a checklist to tick off to make sure you've taken action after it. Mm. And they also give you um, pages to download. So there's an overall workbook, isn't there, that you can print there off is. for the yeah. whole thing. But if you don't want to print it all off in one go, as you do each lesson, it just says print off these sheets and these are the ones yeah. you need for this lesson. So, yeah. It, I like it's it's true what you said it's a very nicely put together course mm -hmm. and as you finish each so each lesson I think has several videos in it and as you finish those uh, the whole lesson 
uh, you get you get points. Is yeah, that, it's like a whole structure to a course There's that I've never seen structure. before. Yeah, and then you can use those points to buy bonus content. Of, yes, you know, Tony and Dean thing. So yeah, yes, and it keeps a track of where you are. Yeah, not not all courses, not all online courses. Yeah, that's, that. that's true. Actually, but you can see yeah. what you've seen and what you haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, moving on then. So, um, obviously, I'm a, a Knowledge Broker Blueprint partner. And last year, I helped quite a lot of people understand uh, about it, a bit like I'm doing now. And uh, I offered some bonuses for people who decided to uh, invest in the course through me. And you were one of my KBB Mastermind family. Um, so how did you find my KBB Mastermind, which was obviously one of the bonuses that I offered? And if, if you've got thoughts on any of the other bonuses as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were a few, weren't there? You, yeah. you did your own little package of bonuses. So um, the first one, like you've said, is the Mastermind, which was, and I, I know it's going to sound weird because I'm saying it to you, <laughs> but it was, for me, one of the best things that I did when I when I clicked a book uh, to buy it to, to buy the course doing it through your affiliate was mm. the best decision because so what Karina did just to explain to people so Karina <laughs> set up um, a structure whereby we did zoom calls um, fortnightly so she did two two a month and so some people could join one of the days you know it was flexible to, depending on people's schedules and so it tended to be the same people would do on the whatever the day was and then another group of people would be on the other day so there's a group of us and each each time you would go through kind of a summary of the course that you deemed that, that that's what we we're going through that night and then the people that were on the call would have a hot seat section so we could talk about well we could talk about that that summary or we could talk about anything that we were kind of stuck on or thinking about or we had questions about or just anything to do with kbb and then after um, letting the other mastermind members know what, what it is we were looking for, they would then give us feedback. Um, and then we would set our goals and intentions for the following call, which was fantastic because it was a smaller, more intimate setting where you could actually really get to know each other and really get to know the businesses and the ways people were going. And so you could really offer kind of tailor-made advice and guidance and receive the same back from the other mastermind members. And it really was a little mini community mm. guided by you. And <laughs> I just thought that was fantastic because even though you've got the Facebook group, this was like, you know, going, you know, down again to mm. a more intimate level. Definitely. I don't think that I would have had the same value from the course without having done it that way mm -hmm. I think it really added to the learning process and um, so I would I would urge anyone looking at doing the course to look at that type of setup where you're getting the mastermind alongside because it really did help yeah. so that was the that was the first bonus but then you threw in some other bonuses so we we got some books which were fantastic from a choice of books and we also got a one-to-one -one call and my one-to-one -one call with you was it just came at the right time so i was leaving the nhs i was going fully into private practice and just wanted to really kind of nail down what i was doing and it was just brilliant to have a whole hour to talk to you about what i was doing <laughs> and get some advice um so all of those bonuses were just fantastic um mainly through the sense of community and the accountability definitely needed the accountability part it's where it's always good <laughs> keeps it going yeah yeah well, that's great. It's really lovely to hear the feedback. So thank you very much for that. It's very kind. And uh, this year I'm going to be offering a bonus package again. I'm actually still working on refining it at the point that we're recording this video. But by the time it's up on YouTube, um, it will be out there. But there will definitely be some form of uh, that group element, that mastermind element, I, I think. Uh, I, I learned things from last year doing the mastermind. I learned that uh, I feel that it's good to kind of do a bit of a boot camp style approach where we probably hit it a bit quicker than last year because doing it over uh, every two weeks meant that it did stretch out for a while, which was good in some respects. But in other respects, I think it's if you do it in a shorter amount of time, you can keep momentum. 
So that will mm -hmm. certainly be on my plan this year to uh, do it, but in a shorter amount of time and really get everyone in and making sure that everyone's staying uh, motivated and getting on with it. So it'll be kind of, I'm thinking around the words of using boot camp. I'm not sure whether it will be exactly that, uh, but also um, it will probably be quite focused on workshops within that mastermind. Like you said, I know I did it last year, but really um, covering, okay, here's the bit of the course that we focused on this week or this time. So yeah. Forth. So yeah, yeah that's it's fantastic. It's a great way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. we really do need that, don't we? Even if we're really excited about a course and even if we're really motivated and we want to get through it, life happens, other yeah. stuff comes up. And it's really easy to get distracted and get off track. Whereas if you have an accountability situation where people are saying, right, last time we spoke, this is what you said you were going to do. Have you done that? You know, it just keeps you going. Yeah. 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 So now that um, 2.0, so the next version of uh, the Knowledge Broker Blueprint is out. I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know what they are yet, but I'm guessing Dean and Tony will have offered some fantastic bonuses alongside it. And I know that I will, like I've just alluded to, I'll definitely have a whole uh, package of bonuses. What would you say to anyone thinking of investing in it? And do you have any advice for them? Yeah, so I think this course is a sort of course that covers things that, that people might need to know. So in my situation, I'd, I've done loads of training, but it's more about how to do my actual job. I'd never done any training around how to scale that up, how to do it in a different way that maybe doesn't fit the traditional way that other people are doing it. Um, I haven't had any training around tech. So sales funnels was a new thing to me. I did not know what that was. Um, even social media. Um, and this course covers it all. So for anybody who's partway through the journey or even at the beginning of the journey, this course covers that. If you don't know, if you know you want to do something, but you don't know what it is, this course will help you extract it and really figure out what it is that you want to do. So I, I guess I would say to people, uh, it doesn't matter what stage you're at, that this course does have something for everybody and you get tons of value. Um, being able to learn from, from Tony and Dean is just a phenomenal um, opportunity. Um, you know, they have a lot that they can share and do share and you get a lot of value um so those are all the things that are really really great about this course and and the thing that i've talked about a lot is the community aspect you know this isn't yeah. this isn't you're sat at home on your own figuring something out there really is a multi-layered community there even to the point that if you reached out to the team you know to, to dean's team you're going to get some help so you know, if you're looking to kind of do something and you feel like you're sort of a bit lost, you know, there's a community there of people that can kind of be alongside you while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so I think really those are the things to consider when you're looking for a course, you know, whatever course you, you're looking at, these are the things that really do make this course stand out. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And one thing that I just thought to mention, which probably should have said right at the very beginning, but you know, these things happen, um, is for anybody who's wondering actually what a knowledge business is, because we didn't actually really cover yeah. any, any detail. So, I mean, chip in if, if you like, her, but I would, I would describe it, and the way Dean's described it many times, is basically taking something that you know, a skill set or your experience, knowledge that you already have, and being able to teach that to other people whether that's in an online format or you can do it in real life and um, you can turn that into a, a business model basically where you can kind of run group events or masterminds like I did for uh, people who did the KBB through me. Is there anything you'd add to that? Yeah, no, that, that covers it. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. Yeah, good summary. Yeah. <laughs> I've probably said that kind of summary quite a few times. <laughs> um, and, and then there is the other side of it, which is if you don't feel that you've got something mm. that you can um, share, but you're still like the idea of this business model, you yes. can uh, become a knowledge reporter or a knowledge broker. And a knowledge reporter is where you go and collect a lot of information, maybe from reading a lot of books on a subject or going and speaking to a number of experts in a particular subject area and collating the top information from them and reporting that to other people to pass that knowledge on. 
um, or a knowledge broker is where you go and find an expert, somebody who is an expert in their field and partner up with them and say, hey, I know how to set these kind of training events up and run them and do the whole business side. You're the expert. Let's partner up and we'll kind of split, split the profits. Yeah. So there's lots of and opportunities. Or yeah, yeah, or both. I mean, you can do combinations of these as well. And I know people who, who have uh, done yes. that. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, well, I think that's pretty much everything I had down to cover today. So thank you very much, Claire. It's been really lovely having you and thank you for oh. taking the time to give me your feedback. Um, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been really lovely getting to know you, especially through the uh, Knowledge Broker Blueprint side of things, obviously. Uh, yeah, so um, just uh, to close off then, is would you like to just remind people how they can connect with you if they want to? Yeah, sure. So as I said, I'm a psychologist, um, so that's more of a traditional therapy model, but I am taking things online, having done these courses. Um, and so if you want to follow me, I have, I've got some social media pages on Facebook or Instagram, and I do run a couple of Facebook groups as well. So I'll give Karina all the details and she can put them in the link wherever that I link will. is. I'll put them in the description. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's how you can come and hang out with me, find out more about what I do. Um, you can click on those links. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Right. Thank so you. thank you everybody for watching today. I hope you found it informative. If you're curious about what a knowledge business is, or if you've heard about the Knowledge Broker Blueprint and wanted to find out a little bit more, do feel free to message me or contact me, leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. No strings attached. I just love the subject. Happy to talk about it. And, um, that's it for today, so I'll say bye for now and see you next time.